How does picture control affect your RAWs versus your JPEGs? You might have seen these settings in your camera, standard, neutral, portrait, monochrome, and a couple of others. Nikon refers to these as picture control settings and Canon refers to these as picture style settings. I would like to discuss a little bit deeper and in detail of exactly how these settings affect your RAW files specifically because there seems to be a couple of misconceptions or myths around exactly how these settings affect your RAW files. If we haven't met before, my name is Henk Nyhoff, I'm a sports photographer. If you find anything helpful on this channel, please subscribe, like or leave a comment. But before we get into exactly how these settings affect the files, let's first have a look at what these files are. RAWs. RAWs are unprocessed and uncompressed data files. The data exactly as the camera sensor sees it captured into a file, including the complete dynamic range and color spectrum within the capability of that sensor. When you first import your RAW file into your software, it will seem quite flat and colorless. There's a huge amount of data stored in that file that you are able to recover from that. And that enables you to push the limits on editing a RAW file quite extensively. There's a big variation of uh, RAW extensions or different RAW files depending on the manufacturer or camera model. RAWs are captured in 12 to 14 bit. That would be uh, between 4,000 and 16,000 shades. JPEGs. JPEGs is the most commonly used image compression standard worldwide with over a billion JPEG images created on a daily basis. It is exactly that. JPEGs are processed and compressed, so the file sizes on a JPEG is a lot smaller compared to a RAW. JPEGs are captured in 8-bit, meaning 256 different shades. I don't want to go into too much detail between the benefits and drawbacks of using a JPEG versus a RAW, but in certain circumstances, you will benefit choosing the one over the other. Now that we know the differences between the two files, let's do a couple of tests. It is a simple test. The camera is set up on a tripod and I won't be changing any settings during the test. So I'll go into the neutral profile and set all the sliders to zero as a basis for the test. On the second shot, I will change the control settings in the neutral profile to the extremes. And then we will compare the raw files of those two shots. These are the two RAWs from the first test. As you can see, they are exactly the same. Neutral settings on the first photo there with everything set to zero and the second one, all the sliders set to the extremes. Absolutely no difference. However, if we compare the two JPEGs from the two shots, clearly there's a difference. All the settings apply to the picture on the right is clearly visible versus the one with the neutral settings on the left. The short answer is that these picture control or picture style settings does not affect raw files. Raw are uncompressed and unprocessed files. If these settings were to affect the raw files, it would no longer be an unprocessed file. There is sort of an exception to the rule where these settings are viewable in some of the native software. For instance, if you shot on Nikon, it would be a .NEF file, and you import that file into the native Nikon software, which is Nikon Capture, the profile settings are viewable, and you are able to edit those further in post-production. But these, it's basically like a set of instructions stored within the data file the software reads the instructions and then applies it to the RAW. So the RAW is only affected after being imported. When we compare the two RAWs in Nikon Capture software, the picture control settings are viewable in the software. On the left hand side we've got the neutral photo and on the right hand side we have the neutral profile with settings set to the extremes. So here you can see that they do affect the rows, 
but it was applied after being imported into the Nikon software only. So the RAW is still an unprocessed and uncompressed file. Something that you need to be aware of, if your camera is set to capture RAW images and you view the image on the back of the camera, what you are seeing there is not a RAW image. That is a JPEG thumbnail created from the RAW image. So you're not able to view the actual RAW image on the back of your screen. The same thing happens when you import your RAWs directly onto your hard drive. The previews you see here are JPEG thumbnails created from the RAW. And that's why they all appear to be different. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you differ or have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or if you have any further technical queries for our next video, please let me know below. Cheers.